bad eggs results in bad fish. It is simple as that. Wherever you are farming your fish, pond, sea or land, the future of your fish production cycle depends on what kind of brood stock fish you have received for your grow out cycle. If the fish from the hatchway is not in good condition when it has arrived at your farm, the chances are you are going to have a very bad outcome in the production cycle. Therefore, it is of vital importance that the fish you have received from the hatchway is healthy and have good immunity. You should study the documentation carefully before you buy the small fish. Once you receive the fish, you must make sure that the fish don't get the stress from the water environment. Here are some of such moments. The temperature difference is one of the main problems which commonly occurs. The water temperature in which you receive fish from hatchway should not be different from water temperature when you are setting the fish at your farm. The more difference between the two temperatures, more stress the fish will have, which will result in heavy loss right at the day one of your production. Once fish will have the stress, it will take weeks for the fish to perform at its best potential and gain weight. Understand, more you prepare for avoiding the stress, more likely you will be successful from the start of your production. To avoid this problem, you can contact the hatchery and get to know the temperatures they are operating in and you prepare accordingly before the arrival of fish at your farm. Temperature under transportation is very important and you should coordinate with the company you are buying your fish from about the temperature and the water quality parameters to avoid the stress to the fish at the farm. If you get fish from other places other than your own hatchery, it's recommended to bath the fish with salted water for 5 to 10 minutes to prevent parasites. Once you receive the fish, you don't need to be too much worried for them to eat. Start the feeding once all the water parameters are stable and you are sure that fish is not under any stress and is ready to eat the feed. You don't need to throw the feed in the water just out of love and care of the fish. Oh, it must be long travel and they must be very hungry. And a result of this, you will be ending up destroying the water quality because of the leftover feed. In all in all out principle, you make sure that there is no exposure of fish to each other of different ages such as you cannot have the fish of different ages in the same place this will give them stress because of the different immunity at different age in case you happen to be in the farm where you have fish from different age groups you should be attending to the young fish first and then to the old ones in case of opposite the infection might transfer from the old ones to the young ones.